Welcome to a lesson on homogeneous functions. A function f of x comma y is homogeneous if f of tx comma ty is equal to t raised to the power of alpha times the original function f of x comma y. And if we can do this, alpha can be any real number and alpha is also the degree of the homogeneous function. So what we're going to do is substitute tx for x and ty for y. Once we do this, if we can write it so that it's t raised to some power times the original function, the original function is homogeneous. So looking at this first example, we want to start by finding f of tx comma ty. So again, we're replacing x with tx. So we'll have tx squared plus we'll replace y with ty, so we'll have ty squared, which would be equal to t squared x squared plus t squared y squared. Notice how these two terms have a common factor of t squared, so we can write this as t squared times the quantity x squared plus y squared. Well, notice that x squared plus y squared is equal to the original function, so we can say that f of tx comma ty is equal to t squared times the original function f of x comma y. This tells us that this is a homogeneous function and the degree is two. Let's try another example. Again, the first step is to determine the function f of tx comma ty. So now we'll substitute tx for x, so we'll have tx to the fourth plus substituting ty for y, ty to the fourth plus two. This is going to be equal to t to the fourth, x to the fourth plus t to the fourth, y to the fourth, plus two. Notice how the first terms do have a common factor of t to the fourth, but the third term doesn't have any factors of t. And since we can't factor the t's out, we can't write this as t to some power times the original function, again because of this two here. Therefore, the given function is not homogeneous. The concept of homogeneous function will be helpful when we're solving differential equations because if we can show that a differential equation is homogeneous, we're going to be able to perform a substitution and then solve that differential equation by using separation of variables. So this video just introduces the idea of a homogeneous function. Next we'll move on to determining if a differential equation is homogeneous. I hope you found this helpful.